Welcome to Scorpio Tigers. <laughs> Welcome to Scorpio Tigers Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius. I hope everyone is doing well. We're going to get right into this. Welcome and welcome back, you guys. Let's jump right into this. This is a general reading for the week of February 27th through March the 3rd. Okay? And uh, whatever comes out, that's what I'm reading, whatever I see, okay? If you already know, if love shows up, what we do, we reverse the roles as needed, okay? Sagittarius Collective overall energy is the hangman, okay? Somebody's in prayer. I love how them jokes just pop in my head. I'm not going to say that, though. <laughs> Somebody's in prayer. That's Piscean Energy Sagittarius. Let's get some energies for the Sagittarius Collective. Those that have subscribed to our channel, those who like our videos, who share our videos. The Sagittarius Collective. What's going on with Sagittarius? Thank you. Oh, Eight of Wands. You got a message coming in. Maybe a couple of them coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry. Sagittarius. What's going on with the Sagittarius Collective? Mm. Tower in reverse. Okay. Something going on here. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And the High Priestess. What's at the bottom of the deck? We got the Three of Pentacles. Wow. Somebody could be trying to gain your trust back here. That's why the messages are going to come in. And you're really just praying about it. And then that goes right with the overall energy. Okay? The Four Swords. But somebody wants, wants to gain your trust back. Okay? Get that foundation back. Okay? The Eight of Wands. Why is this here? For the Sagittarius Collective? Why is the Eight of Wands here? For the Sagittarius. Thank you. Yeah, somebody's definitely coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. That's that slow-moving, um, secure energy. Someone who has all their things together, okay? They're not playing. Um, they got the good job, the family life. Everything is, is going great on their end. They're financially stable. They're coming in with a message with a message for you, a message of love. The Tower in reverse, the Scorpio energy. Why is this here? Oh, let me check that. Yeah, they want a new beginning. I forgot to check the cut. Yeah, they're coming in with that offer. The, the tower in reverse. Scorpio energy in reverse. Did y'all see that? I could have swore a car flew over. Was it this? Was it the Queen of Pentacles? Oh, that car looked like it flew all the way over there. Am I tripping? Oh my goodness gracious. Let me check the tower in reverse. That car looked like it flew. Way over here. The tower is 13, right? <clears throat> no, that's that's that. This tower. 14. 16. Okay. It's a divine feminine. That's what it's saying. And you already know the Queen of Pentacles already about her business. She she's the queen that's that's uh, all about her business. She's the nurturing, fruitful one. She takes care of business and home. She's a homemaker. So this is talking about a divine feminine. I did not know that the tower in reverse was divine feminine. It's about sensuality, fertility, universe, God. Changes for a reason, okay? Shakeups and sudden changes. Divorce, abuse, violence, bankruptcy, and natural disasters. Give us more, please. Okay, so something is going to happen. Is it going to be a tornado? Because they are going through the country right now. Because I, I say tornado because the way the Queen of the Pentacles look like it flew. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all can't see. I know y'all can't see what I'm seeing. But it, the, the Queen of Pentacles looked like it went, and I didn't hear it land. So I didn't. That's why I looked like, where did it go? And, and then it was sitting right there on, on top of my finger. That was so weird. Anyway, you, you guys, y'all wouldn't know what I'm talking about if y'all don't read cards. But um, it's, um, yeah, some kind of, you may be experiencing some kind of shakeup or some kind of ruin of some sort. I'm going to keep going. Don't, don't, don't claim that. I'm just, I'm going off what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing. So, um, but that, that is talking about ruin. 
And then with this Queen of Pentacles, everything is going to be fruitful. Let's get another card, please, for this Tower in Reverse. Help us understand. That's never happened before. Okay. And everything's going to balance itself out with the King, with the king of Cups. Give me one second. I just want to double check that Queen of Pentacles. Greatness of soul, down to earth, opulence. The finer things, okay? Generosity, wealth, magnificence, um, security, liberty, growth, humble, homemaker, stability, financial uh, stability as far as finances, okay? Good and um, business, that's right. And social butterfly, successful and money is good. Yeah. So something may happen that's going to turn your world upside down, Sagittarius. But but it's gonna it's gonna be like the pathway to you getting your monies, to get, to you getting your monies, and um getting your balance in life. That's absolutely wonderful. That's a strong message there. Okay. Mm. Yeah, your new beginning. Focus and, and and pay attention to your money. Okay. This could be a warning, cause the, this is this is the fool. It's also a warning. So it's a warning to pay attention to your money. Maybe this is talking about this, uh, the stock market um, dropping or raising something going wrong with that. Because whatever that reading is, that part right there, that 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 was that was that was that was real right there. Okay, let's let's move along. <laughs> uh, the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. Why is this here for the Sagittarius Collective? Pay attention to your money, um, Sagittarius. Okay, we got the Empress. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to double check it because if you're new, I check my reversals cause, because I'm still getting used to them. I'm still learning them, okay? It's taking me a little while, but that's okay because I'm on the end. But um, the Ten of Pentacles is uh, lost deception and unfinished projects and bad faith, okay? So... You have you you may suffer some sort of loss financially, but you're gonna have a brand new beginning. Okay, this is the Empress. This is a brand new brand new beginning, and it it also represents spring and summer. Okay, so even if you do suffer a loss, still pay. Watch your money. Check on your bank account. Check on your monies. Okay, but you're you're gonna suffer some sort of loss, and but you're gonna have a brand new beginning, just like this is saying. It's telling. It's like a warning. Like I told you when we seen it. It's a warning to you, okay? And just pay attention to your money. You're going to suffer some sort of loss, but it's going to, the loss is still going to bring you some some new beginning. Just like with this, this tower in reverse, it's saying the same thing. Why would it do that? We're going to go, we're going to delve de deeper. Okay, the high priestess. See, um, you probably already know this, okay? You, you already know that you're going to have joy to a pentacles, or you already know when you're juggling, Okay? Because you've already put that burden down with the Ten of Wands in reverse. You've already put that burden down. Hmm. Ten of Wands in reverse is contradictions, difficulties. Okay? Stress and responsibilities, just too much. You're working too hard with no progress. That's how you're feeling. Learning to say no, letting go, in insurmountable problems. Okay, so you already know that 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 this juggling that you're doing with your finances, and this probably is talking about the stock market. That's what I'm seeing, y'all. Um, I'm seeing money. Some sort of loss is going on here. And you, you're very aware of this with the high priestess. You're very aware of, of you keep juggling like this, it's going to cause you a lot of problems. And if this is about love, like the way it looked like it started here with the with the eight of wands and the knight of pentacles. Something's about to go down. And there's gonna be some sort of loss. But you're still gonna bounce back. This this is the tower in reverse, the queen of the queen of pentacles and the king of cups is telling me that something's gonna happen. You're gonna get caught if this is love. Something's gonna happen, you guys are gonna fight. But you're still going to balance yourself behind this situation.
And if you have a loss with the Ten of Pentacles with the Empress, you're still getting a brand new beginning. But you already know this is going down. Yeah, because you don't you don't want to put in any more work. You don't know the, the, the Knight of Wands in reverse is talking about not completing tasks and such. You don't want to put in the work and you're going to be victorious. Because you're paying attention. The page of cups. Anything else for the Sagittarius Collective, please? Help us understand. Okay, we got the moon. The hermit. You're going to be victorious. And it's coming through. You're going to go on a whole new path. And with that Hermit energy, with the Virgo energy, we're going to, you're going to be um, doing your research and putting in the work to rebound from this. Okay, it's all about business. And there goes that, that fool again. You, you don't want to go on a brand new path. The fool in the reverse is saying that something's holding you back. You don't want to go in, into uh, a brand new beginning. Hold on a second. So, conceited. Okay. Vanity, apathy, uh, ir irrational. Stupidity. Okay, you're reluctant to start again, and that's why you're walking away. You're reluctant to start again with the relationship. I'm seeing two different stories here. Sagittarius, I'm sorry. You're being told to, to, to stay in prayer about this situation. So some sort of message is going to come through. And these are called the arrows of love, but this still could be... A message about business because I just I'm seeing this is about money. I'm seeing it's about money. The fool in reverse is um living in the moment, but that's not this reading. This is saying you reluctant to start again, but the new beginning is coming either way. So go ahead and move forward with the eight of cups. You're walking away from a situation, a love. I need one more card. I'm not I'm get my left hand itching. I'm telling you, somebody gonna lose some money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I just noticed I did that. Yeah, so somebody's gonna lose some money. It's my left hand. Let's get some more information on this um, tower in reverse. We see this king and his queen. The queen, the queen talks about uh, um, taking care of business and the homemaker and such. The king of cups is the king of balance. So this is talking about a divorce. Is that why the tower's in reverse head in that? We got Sagittarius right there popped out. You popped out on your own reading. And this is the card of balance. And that's what I was talking about. After this, whatever, whatever's going on with the homemaker that occurred, something's going to shake up with the homemaker or the business, you're going to balance yourself. I think this is business. I don't care. This is about business. It's not love. I'm not feeling that at all. This is business. When they, when you have that that uh, shake up with the business, um um, you're going to balance yourself, and you're gonna you're gonna balance yourself, and you're gonna make it out. You're you're gonna take a little loss, but you're gonna have you're gonna have the you're gonna be able to rebound from whatever loss that you occurred. And you already know that you are risking. You're 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 risking something. You're juggling here. You already know you keep juggling, is the, the bottom's going to fall out. I can't make this up. And it's, it's, I can, my, that ringing in my ear is so loud. They, they not, I'm, I know I'm telling what's right. This is about money, y'all. But you're going to, you don't want to start again. But you're being told if you do, you're going to be victorious. Just keep pushing forward, Okay. This is something you're gonna get a little tidbit of information. Somebody's gonna give you some like some some information that's gonna help you go on this new path. So do your research and put the work in. Sagittarius, I can't make it up. Ten of Swords, it's gonna be rough, but it's gonna be over. Okay, good stuff. Let's go. That was financial. I know that's financial. Let's um.
Go to the African Goddess Rising for you guys some um, advice. I'm sorry this is so long. It wasn't supposed to be this long. We in 14 minutes. Yeah, but um, that that's about money, Sagittarius. You're going to take a small loss, and but somebody's going to come in and help you. Any advice for the Sagittarius Collective? Yeah, and whatever you're doing, you know it's a juggle. You know it's risky. And it's going to come, come it's gonna come crashing down. You're going to take an L. Feeling safe. You, you got the right to feel safe. Especially when it comes to your money. Anything else for the Sagittarius Collective? Thank you. Yeah, brazen. Move forward with a lot of, a lot of uh, bravery, a lot of um, tenacity. Okay? You, you, you need to move. Be brazen. Speak your mind, crunch your numbers, and know your business. Know what you're talking about, and move forward. Okay, even if you do take that L, don't let it make you sink. Okay, because you got cosmic power. You got you got you got that DNA. You got that light in your in your DNA. You you can't fail. Okay, we get tripped up every now and then, but we can't fail. Sagittarius, go get your bag. Whatever you're doing that you know you ain't supposed to be doing, though, Pisces, uh, Sagittarius. I'm gonna say Pisces. I just did Pisces. Whatever you was doing, whatever you know what you're doing that's risky. Stop it. Cause you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get a loss. You you already know this though. I can't tell you, you're gonna get a loss if you keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Whew. That was that was good and actually quite refreshing as a reader because love always comes through, you know. <laughs> so that was good that the money came through. Good stuff. All right, Sagittarius. Good luck with this guys. You know, just stay in prayer. That, that was your overall energy, right? Yep. The Pisces energy, stay in prayer and um, crunch your numbers. Do your homework. Do your homework. Prepare. Prepare for what you already know is coming. Prepare for it. All right? You guys, thank you so much for coming to Scorpio Tigers Tarot. Thank you guys. You guys, I'll see you soon. Take care. That was cool.